don't need the camera for all this. <laughs> the N Tower, which is that one right there, it should be, it should be about right here. And that will be lined up perfect with PA. But look how far it went and got out of line. That's crazy. So here is what we're going to be putting in on the uh, cotton defoliation. morning guys welcome back to the channel my name is daniel and you are watching triple r farms and it is tuesday september the 17th and we are over here in the togville today what are we doing over here we're going to be spraying what are we spraying we're going to be spraying some beans all right so why are we spraying the beans we're spraying the beans because they just will not shed their leaves fast enough they're starting to drop them um, every day now but the plant and the actual soybean they are ready they've been ready and we just cannot wait any longer because you'll start having some of these pods at the top will start cracking and uh you'll start losing beans on the ground kind of like this see that so just the sun will dry them out and they'll finally just crack open see that one's cracking right there see that and they'll just crack open and the beans will just drop on the ground um, so we're going to help out this plant we're going to be spraying spraying this whole field today with the rogator and uh, we're going to be drying this plant down making these leaves dry up and drop off real quick and then we'll be in here in a couple days and uh, we'll be ready to come by them but for whatever reason they are just hanging on to their leaves i mean it just looks green as it can be across there but we're going to fix that today but as far as the soybeans they look really really good um they've looked good all year big seed three three bean pods hadn't seen any four but anyway i think they're going to yield really good they've looked good all year and uh we've got two irrigations out here on them and we've been running them pretty much non-stop throughout the season so uh can't wait to get out here with the combine and uh, actually see what they're gonna yield. So what is everybody else doing? Uh, you might see Dad and PA and James uh, a little bit later in the video. I think they're coming over here this morning. Both of our pivots have something wrong with them where they won't move out of the way. And of course, they're not pointed in the right direction. They're just laid basically perpendicular to the way the rows are so they're going to come over here and i think they're going to uh see if they can get both of them going where we can actually move them out of the way and i won't have to run over as many beans going around the pivots mark's going to be at the shop he's got a couple of jobs he's got to do there all day and then uh wayne's going to be loading out soybeans at the uh seed house Good. trailer on the wrong side. 
<laughs> all this right here should be facing this way. So it's closer to the Rogator. I think if I, if I pull the Rogator real close right here, move it up, I think we can still reach. But uh, man, that's the first time I've done that in a long time. Loaded my trailer wrong. So what are we putting out? We're gonna be putting out Gramoxon 3.0. We're gonna go with a quart to the acre of that. And the only other thing in there is gonna be, of course, our wet saw as our surfactant. Okay, we just dropped James off at the pivot shed. Um, Dad found out that the pivot hydraulic oil was low on it. That was one thing he found wrong. He also found two tires that were uh, low in the PA or airing it up right now. And uh, I think that's all he's found so far. So James is gonna put some oil in there and they're gonna go uh, see if they can get that baby moving. Easiest way to get the uh, hydraulic oil out here was putting it on the Rogator and riding James out here. Unfortunately, the Rogator does not have really good buddy seat. It is teeny tiny. I can barely fit in it, so that's why James had to ride on the outside. to the other pivot uh, just talked to dad they've had all kind of trouble down there on the uh, smaller pivot the one they were working on they put pivot oil in it got all that filled up and uh, aired all the tires up cranked it up and they saw oil pouring out of a hydraulic line so they had to go to Selma get a new hydraulic line made and uh, I guess it was hard to get to because they were hanging all off the, uh, <laughs> off the pivot trying to work on it but anyway, he said they got it all back together. They found one more tire that needed airing up. They're going to air that up. Then they're going to crank it up. Cross your fingers. Hopefully uh, they can get that one to walk in. But they didn't want to hold me up. They have not touched this pivot right here. So um, we're going to go ahead and spray this one. I'm just going to go around it. Let's go see what Dad and uh, PA are figuring out on this pivot. They are right behind y'all on that tower. We don't know. The end tower needs to be put on one. And we don't know if it's moving down there or not. James is at the motor. 
to go down there and put it on one. And two. He's trying to walk. We don't need the camera for all this. <laughs> Why wouldn't that valve come my way? This is probably wasn't broke. Alright, what did I call it? Ten. One, two, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's in the middle now. In fact, in fact, PA, you can tighten yours up a little. Tighten yours up a little, PA. Count around. We're way out of line. Whenever I left PA and Dad down there and came down here to the end tower, they cranked it up one more time when they did. All these last six towers, they must have took off walking this way really fast and where PA is was not walking at all. So that's why it was trying to get out of the track and go go like that, and that is not good. But we are walking back in reverse. Everything's looking good so far. If we can get it all lined back up straight, it will be a miracle. Keep your fingers crossed. The end tower, which is that one right there, it should be it should be about right here and that will be lined up perfect with pa but look how far it went and got out of line that's crazy all right y'all probably can't see this on camera since it because it's such a long pivot but um, we're pretty much dead in line right now. Dad's tires are moving, so everything's walking. Um, but he thinks he's got a gearbox gone out, and that's going to be on the wheel right here. He said it's making some noise. This gearbox right here. Anyway, he thinks one of those is bad on the tower that him and PA are at because he said when it's, wa when it's walking, it's making a popping noise. So... We've had them go out before, but it's a pretty big job to uh, get it changed out. Wednesday morning and we are about to get on the road. We uh, got done spraying the beans over here in Tocqueville yesterday afternoon and uh, that is all the beans that are ready to be sprayed at the moment. So we're going to be moving back home and uh, we're going to be defoliating some cotton in the valley. And uh, once we get back to the shop and get all the chemical loaded up, I will uh, explain what we're putting out and the rates but first we got about an hour and a half hour and 45 minute drive back from the shop on the road gator so let's get after it Did y'all do the bearing? We did the bearing, yes. You got it fixed? Yeah, what? it came off. Was it hard? It wasn't hard. It was hard to get to it and get up in there, but it came off pretty easily. Up on the bench over there.
And here's the new blades. The new blades are going right where the road was hitting. Uh, we flipped all the other ones around. If you look right here, these are all the old ones that were in between a row. A row was right here. We're just flipping them around so they'll have a sharp edge. Um, so that's what PA's doing. He's going back and putting these brand new ones on. And also, we had a bearing out right here on this big, big drum. This one bearing was out and they, uh, they replaced it. The PA said it wasn't too bad. The bearing down there was all right. And the two bearings down there on that drum were still okay. You found a tire and an axle? Yeah. That, that's going to go back there. This one is going to go in here. But i got to put a tire on it to see. i got to mark my hole where I need it. Mm -hmm. I don't want the tire to hit. You know. I want to go in probably right there. But there's no hole. Will you take that tire off or leave it on? You leave it on now you can just pull that pin and pick it up it'll be up in there mm -hmm. stop all this wheel slot we got that bearing on it was fun was it hard yeah it was pretty difficult but i was so glad it would drop down and low enough to, to uh, so we didn't have to take the other bearing off. But it, it definitely had play in it. Sloppy loose. The new one fits tight. All right, here is the cotton recipe for the cotton defoliation. We're going to be going with Setup 6SL. We're going to be going a quart to the acre of that bad boy. Next, we got our Folex 6EC. We're going to be going with six ounces to the acre of that. Dynamic. We're going to be going with a quart per 100 gallons of water of this. Last but not least is Max Unitech TDZ 4SC. That's a lot to say right there. Uh, we're going to go with 2.5 ounces to the acre of that.
So guys, that's probably gonna wrap it up for the video. I'm gonna finish out the day uh, spraying cotton. Uh, then I'll probably spray a little bit more cotton tomorrow. And then we'll probably hold off on the spraying the cotton because you don't want to have too much cotton get ready at one time because you don't want it all exposed to uh, weather conditions. So uh, I'll probably jump on and get my combine. I've got to get it ready for soybeans. Dad is up there at Lounsboro um, on the beans. He's probably got one more day uh, and then he'll wrap up Lounsboro. So he'll probably be uh, harvesting soybeans tomorrow. So that will be on the next video but as for this one guys thanks for watching another one we really appreciate it when y'all watch our videos uh, if you want to do me a favor click that thumb it's down there at the bottom somewhere anyway it really helps out our channel if you'll go down there and just click it it means you like the video if you didn't like it you don't have to click it but uh and if you want to subscribe to our channel triple r farms logo over here click on that and uh, you can subscribe to our channel for free and you'll get notified when I put out a video. You won't, have to, you won't have to be wondering, did he put out one or did he not? It will notify you. So uh, guys, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching another one. We'll see y'all on the next one. We're out.